Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Rich Kiker, Google Apps Certified Trainer as part of the Belmar School District Chromebook Project. Today I'd like to share the value of taking a Google Doc and publishing it to the web. One of the advantages is that when you have a Google Doc, even if you're sharing it with others as viewers, a lot of times some of the features um, are not as clean and published as you would like them. For example, in this Google Doc, if I point at my name and click one time, the link comes up and I can click on it and go visit, but it's an extra step that doesn't look like a web component. Additionally, I have the editing toolbar, and if users are just viewing this document, they can't edit anyway. So one option to fix this and get a new solution is to publish your Google Doc. And the way you do that is by going to File and choosing Publish to the Web. When I select this, I'll get a pop-up that says Publish to the Web, and that I can control the publishing. I typically advise to leave it checked to automatically republish when changes are made. That way I don't have to consistently go back and republish. And what's going to happen is Google Docs is going to give me a link here that will remain consistent and always be the most up-to-date published document. So I'm going to choose Start Publishing. Are you sure you want to publish this document? Automatically republish is still selected. I get a public link. I also get some embed code or the option to share to a number of different social networks directly from this window. I'm just going to copy this document link so you can get a look at what this is doing. You can see that now I have a published document. It has the title of the document at the top and I have the links are active and just a little bit more inviting for uh, if you want to create a, an online flyer or an online informational pamphlet or, or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. This solution can help. If I come back to my doc and I choose file, publish to the web again, I can stop publishing at any time and do away with the live publishing. So if I choose to stop publishing, OK, and then my publishing is turned off. Just a simple solution that I hope helps you uh, in using Google Drive.